This is Kevin Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Delighted to be joined by on the phone the Dark Destroyer himself, Nigel Bend. Nigel, how are you? Well, I'm not going to answer that name. I'm not the Dark Destroyer, Nigel Benjamin Button Ben. Forget that name, the Dark Destroyer. I'm not going to be synonymous with that name anymore, so that's gone. All right, no history. Nigel <laughs> Benjamin <laughs> Button Ben. We'll start again. How are you? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, buddy. Good. Just can't believe what's really going on, really, to tell you the truth. It's just, it seems to be changing every day and kind of the, the state, kind of the world is in, not not just obviously our country, but the absolutely, world is in, absolutely. is of major yeah, concern. But, yeah, but you know, you know, you look at it, where did it start from? I was actually watching a film with Connor and Vicky yesterday, watching Contagion with Matt Damon. It's like, where did it start? China? What did it start with? Bat? You know what, what are you doing eating bat soup and things like this? It's just like disgusting. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not tarnishing out every Chinese with this, but you know, it's not, it's not healthy, the food that they eat. I'm sorry, mate. And you know, some of the things that I've seen on the internet are disgusting, horrible. But like, you know, you know, and it's, it's affecting the whole world. It's affecting the whole world, you know, and it's, it, it's, I, I don't know, I'm just in chaos. It's just, it, the country, the world is in chaos. Every, everything's locked down. Who'd ever think this would happen in our time? No, absolutely. You know, in life. Absolutely. I was going to ask you, Nigel, obviously for someone who's, you know, your kind of day-to-day -day life is very active. Obviously, we know you, you train quite a lot, kind of how you keep... I'm doing, it's absolutely doing my nothing, but... I'm actually at a gym, private gym. No one's in it. It's just me. That's it. It's all been like fumigated. So it's just me in there. Connor's doing pads with the guys all and not here with me somewhere else. So we're all still working. It's just like, otherwise I'll go, I go nuts. I go absolutely nuts. But because I can train, I mean, I'm not around nobody. No one's here with me. It's just me on my own. So that's, that's ideal. So I've got absolutely nobody. I'm in the gym all on my own. And, and it's nice I can have a workout. Otherwise, I just go absolutely mad. I can't, you know, I could go running, but no, I'm just in a gym every day. I've got to train. It's a bug. <laughs> no, I would expect that from you, Nigel. But obviously, since last Friday, where Boris Johnson kind of announced, um, you know, the closure of all kind of restaurants, pubs, clubs, etc., and then obviously a couple of days ago, he's announced that, you know, you're not to leave your house um, unless it's for kind of one of the the, the reasons that were listed. But it seems like yeah, people. Yeah, I, was, I was listening to it today. I was listening today with some people saying, "Oh, some people you can work at home." other people are building building flats and all that that don't need that why are they out there working you know there's more pressure on the nhs i'm i'm not with nobody but yet you're allowed to do this all but and then you've got about a thousand people on trains all stuck in all squashed together oh and they got to get to work. what it's you know it's a, i don't know there's there's people there not actually listening but everyone said we've got to, i've got to go work so we're all going to cramp in together going on a train, so it's, it's not clear. If you're going to shut down, shut down everything. Just shut down everything. Then you know where you stand because everyone's in, oh, well, some people got to go to work, people got to do anything. I think, really? To be build buildings now, the state that the world's in, and you're talking about, oh, they, they, they got to do, no, they ain't got to do that. It just changes as it goes along. And they, you know, and, and everything's shut down. It's like, well, certain things are open, some things are shut down. People could go still work building houses. Well, I think they all should be all shut down. As this appears Morgan this morning. And he was saying that same thing. Nurses and that, we need our nurses, but wealth or infrastructure, a lot what if people got to go work because the government don't want to pay everybody. I don't know. I don't know. It's just in chaos. Absolute chaos. It is. And then you've got people, hold on, you've got, you've got when not too long ago, you have, how many people on beaches doing exercise next week? They're not listening. How, how silly is that? Yeah, I mean, it does seem we're like we keep seeing on social media. While I'd say a large proportion of people are kind of abiding to the rules, but there are people out yeah. there kind of trying to kind of go round what Boris is saying by you know, and, and it left a lot to interpretation the other day. It, what it didn't yeah. seem like it was you know you stay at home. But, but if you want to go out for an exercise a day, you can do that. And if you need to go to a shop, you can do that. So yeah. I think we're, we're on the verge, though, of probably getting a, a total lockdown any day now, surely. 
Yeah, but it should have been a lockdown a long time. I mean, I get, I, I get it, but if you ain't got... I mean, it's not, you know, people like, you know, who are out just running on the street. They're not in contact with anybody, but I'm talking about people that are stuck on the bloody trains. Hundreds and hundreds of people in contact with... We're, we're talking about two inches apart. <laughs> two inches apart, and yet... And it's okay. Shut the trains down so nobody can get to work. Shut it all down. You know, because it could be one person on there could infect, I don't know, five, six people. Then the other five, six people infect another, another ten people. You know, no, it just doesn't make sense. It really don't. Nigel, I know obviously at a time like this kind of um, <coughs> boxing doesn't really kind of come into it, but I will ask you about boxing, kind of the effect this is going to have on, on the sport. We've just seen yesterday that the Olympics obviously will be postponed until next year. Um, this has a major kind of knock-on effect. I know, like I said, boxing is kind of far from everyone's mind, but I do want to ask you about the, the, the effect yeah. it's going to have on our sport. Well, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, but see, you I'm sorry, but you're 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 singling out one sport, but there's it's I can't just look at our our sport. There's you know there big fights all lined up, but it's bigger than boxing. You know, it, so I can't just talk about boxing. You know, being honest with you, it's, it don't actually ever come into my mind. It don't. I'm not even thinking about boxing. I'm just thinking about uh, everyday life, a normal life, living, walking, breathing. In contact, of, you know, we're not talking about the sport now. It's gone way beyond any kind of sport. Football, basketball, you name it, rugby, hockey, whatever. It's gone beyond that. So it's very hard to talk about. No, I get that. Sport. You get what I mean? Because no, I get that. I get that. It, it's something that we, it doesn't. I can't, I can't even really think about boxing. I rather think about my wife and kids. What my kids at school as this person, you know. So it's way beyond that. It's, it's it's very hard to just sit down and just talk about our sport, even though we had some good fights lined up. But hey, it'll be back. It'll be back. Hmm. Yeah. No, Nigel, I, I do completely understand what you're saying. And I was I was saying I know this is obviously uh, boxing doesn't really kind of come into it. I'm only asking yeah. because you are a boxer yourself, Nigel, and I kind of know that obviously it has an effect not only on that sport but just the whole yeah. world. Not we're not even yeah, talking about sport. We're talking about the whole yeah, world. Absolutely, it's very hard to. Cause I, I, yeah, if, if, if you know, going to watch Conor go and fight on on a, on the 28th of of March, then that's been postponed. Then he might be fighting on the Anthony Joshua Bill. I think that's going to be postponed as well. So it, it, then you had uh, um, Fury and Wilder with the third fight, which I think was just nonsensical. Then you have Dylan White. You know, so there's a lot of big fights all in the mix. A lot of big fights all in the mix. And now we're, um, I don't know, it's, what, 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 what do you want me to say? I know. It, 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 no one knows anything. No one knows anything. Yeah, it, it, I can't really get a, I really can't really say, well, how do I look past this? It, it, I can't look past this. It, it, it's very hard to, it's like a, mm, yeah, okay, I, I, I don't know. I'm actually stuck for words. No, I think, you know, uh, completely understandable, Nigel. Like I said, you, I was only raising the question to you because you were a boxer yourself, Nigel, and it was just, it was just through that. But on the grand scheme of things, like I said, it doesn't really even come into it. <laughs> It doesn't really make sense, really. It's like we could have a conversation about literally anything, and then it all will, it would all just actually come back to that because it's like we can't see where we're going. When is this all going to stop? When are we going to sit down and say, "Well, you know what? Are my kids safe?" It's, it's not about. It's not just about boxing, but there's so much that I, I, I know what you want me to say, but it's like. Mm, uh, I can't even think beyond this. No, Nigel, no, completely understand, mate. Completely understand, <laughs> obviously. Sorry, but how's your day been, anyway? <laughs> My day has consisted of literally nothing. Um, just... Uh, trying to, like I said, talk to guys like yourself and just kind of get people's perspective on on what's going on, and just uh, that's all we can do, and just we can just contribute yeah. to what's going on in a positive way by just listening to what the government's saying and and stay, yeah, staying staying home. I think, yeah, I think, I think you know what it is. It is it is what the government's saying, but you know a lot of things is like it's like ifs and buts. If you don't go work, well, you work at home. But if you got to go, well, I think well, no. The people that build in these big buildings. These, these apartments for uh, what Peter Johnson was saying, some Russian billionaire, and he's out in Russia, and he's like, you know, got the archives working, all that. It's like, I don't know. Well, we think, hold on a minute. 
You don't need these buildings. These buildings should be all just like, it's not working now. Send the guys home. And I know a lot of people have got to pay bills and all that, but hey, but it's a whole world that's been affected. And it should be really, say, all right, no, that's it. We're all shut down now. Don't care about work. This is all shut down. Because if you get heart kind of giving mis- mixed signal, they'll say, oh, was that talking about me? Can I still go out and work? Have I, I'm self-employed. Oh, can I do this? Oh, can I? No, just stop, get home, and that's it. Boom, shut down for three weeks or whatever. Absolutely. You know, so so, so we, we can't spread these germs around. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know, the Chinese have got a lot to answer answer for. I'm sorry, mate, it, it's not the first time. You know, but it's it's just sickening, really, what, what what goes on there. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm I'm just speaking my mind. I'm not being horrible to anybody. But hey, when you eat them kind of things that you're eating, like bat soup and all that, and I don't know. I'm just kind of just upset because it's affecting the whole world. It's affecting the whole world. You know, our grands can't go. I worry about me, mum. I worry about you know. I just I'm, I'm just sick sick to death of this. And I hope they just I hope they get a big comeback, mate. I'm telling you. People lost their lives for, for for what? For what 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 purpose? You know? I know it's meant to be a box I know it's meant to be a boxing uh, 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 interview, but No, it's uh, not no, it's, it's not meant to be it's, sorry. It's, no, Joel, just stop me there a second. It's not meant to be a boxing interview. I just, I just did ask you that question just because, yeah. obviously, because you are a boxer, but that's the only reason. But like I said to you, this ain't yeah. about boxing. This is, obviously, this yeah, is deeper and about, bigger than anything. Life, it's about life. It's about our, our daily walk. It's just about just going out. It's like we're shut down. It's like we're shut down. I'm in the gym, all of me Todd, no one around. It's like, oh, my gosh, it's like, talking to myself <laughs> working out I'm glad I'm working out because I go absolutely mad so at least I've got the opportunity to to to, to work out mate otherwise I, I, I don't know I don't know what I'll do and plus you know to, I, I can't get back can't get back home yet so it's just like you know it's just crazy I might be I might be here till September I don't know I don't know Nigel, it's let, crazy, let me ask you when you're not kind of doing the the gym thing what are you doing what are you doing to keep yourself occupied I just sit at home and um, me, me and Connor we like um, what's that uh, what's that thing that thing on like TV what's that I just watched that, that game show with the feet the coins that drop down what's it called <laughs> uh, I'm drawing a blank here um, <laughs> come on what kind of game show where you can win like when people can win like ten thousand pounds or something the coins that on ITV I can't remember what it's called it's a fun game where it just you know just got knocked down the well it, 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 tick tick tick, tick um, top, oh, what's it called it'll come in a minute yeah it, oh, it's, uh, oh okay okay so that's what you've been doing anyway yeah just watching um, just watching um YouTube, watching film, films, and that's about it, really. And, and, and more or less, it's actually watching the news, what's actually happening in Italy, what's actually around the world. That That's all it is now. It, it, it's And sometimes it's very hard to separate yourself from it, but you've got to, or should I end up going mad? Yeah, absolutely. That's all it's all on the news from BBC One, B, BBC Two, ITV. That's about it. But, but life all goes on. It's, you know, what I think about is my, my wife and my kids... They're in Australia. How are they doing? How are they coping? How are they surviving? But I think they, I think from tomorrow they've actually got total shutdown. Total shutdown. But what gets me as well, everyone's just going, I think they're not considering it. Some people going to buy toilet roll. I think, ah, what? Toilet roll? And, that's, I think, and some people are going to have their house stacked up with toilet roll. I think, well, is that what you're thinking about? Where's all buying vitamins so that you keep your body healthy and, and eating the right foods? I, I don't know. It's just I just can't believe what's happening in my lifetime, to tell you the truth. Just in just in total shock. I think just every everyone shock. is Nigel to be fair and um... Yeah, I just I would really like to say to everybody, just just use your head, mate. Stay away from anybody that you don't know who them people have been with. Just take care of yourself, mate. We're in a very precarious time that we're living in. And I think not only that for hanging out with people that you, you know, who you might come in contact, think of your kids, think of whatever. You're just going to be, you're going to be very mindful. Some of these guys, I mean, on the beach, on the train, you just got to be careful who you come in contact with, mate, that you don't bring it home and affect your wife, your kids, your nan, your mum, or whatever. 
you know, that's it. That's it. Just be very mindful of other people and yourself. Definitely. I think there was a, a young kid just died when he was 25 or something, Connor was telling me, a young boy that just died. I think, wow. So it's not just about the old now. It's like, you know, sometimes it's, it can, it's just anybody. It doesn't say, oh, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to affect this young guy. He's too fit. Or, nope. I'll go for him. I'll go for anybody. So we all just got to be mindful who we in contact and washing our hands. Not shaking hands, you know. We just don't know who's got it. He's got to be mindful, really mindful. And like my, my daughters and my grandkids, I'm, you know, I said, I said to my daughter yesterday, I said, Charlie, have you been in the world? I just went back. I said, okay, mate, well, I'll, I'll just stay away for a while. And I meant that. As much as I want to see my grandkids and all that, I, I don't know who they've been with. It's just as simple as that. I was just like, you know what? This is where it's settled down. And then I'll, I'll just be in contact with her on the phone, on FaceTime. I'm, I'm not being in contact. At least I know with Connor. I've been with him for the last... Um, two months, yeah, February. Yeah, from February I've been with Connor. And, and like, you know, so we've been, we've been in each other's company. And, we, and that's it. Just me, Connor and Vicky. And that's it. I'm not being around as much as I want to see all my grandkids. I, no, I can't do it. Hmm. I, don't, I, I saw my mum. I saw my mum on Mother's Day. I was about ten foot away. Connor gave my brother some money just to give to mum, and that's it. And I, that's the first I've seen my mum in over a year. But yet I couldn't get close to her. I just kept my distance because one thing is I don't want to bring anything near my mum, even though I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I just don't want to. Give it had the opportunity that I've, you know, that I've affected my mum or, or anything or anybody, even my brothers, you know. So it's so it's just hard. It's hard. So I just had to just stay away from my mum, and hopefully, God willing, I'd like to fly her over to Australia and come and spend some time with me, so she can come and relax and not worry about anything. But we don't know what what life's going to be in the next three months, next month. We don't know what it's going to be like. All these shows, uh, is boxing going to be back on this year? We don't know. You no, don't we know. Don't. We haven't got a clue what's going to happen, let alone with kind of just day-to-day -day life, let alone anything else. What, what, what fights were lined up? I didn't know what I was thinking about Canelo. Is Canelo fighting Saunders? Uh, well, or, or... Ca Canelo Saunders hadn't been formally announced, but it was set to take place on the 2nd of May. Obviously, that's not going to happen now. We had Dylan White and Povetkin. We had Usyk Chizora, obviously Joshua Pulev yeah. in June. Um, and I think June is the earliest you could even f contemplate anything happening right now. Uh, but that's that it could be far-fetched yeah. as well, June. We don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Connor's back. Oh. Yeah, how's it going, mate? Yep, yeah, brilliant, mate. Yeah, you got that, you got that? Mm. I'll take your fags. Uh. <laughs> no, right. Nigel, I'm going to let you get on with hey, your day, you and your boy. Yeah, <laughs> uh. Connor, yeah Con, Connor's here, we're just, um, yeah, he's just finished, he's just finished, he's training with, with my pal. So, um, so he's like, um, he's doing well. But thank you for the interview, man. No, we just kind of see how you are, Nigel, and hope you're keeping well and obviously in these times. And, uh, yeah, just keep doing your thing. And, like I said, hopefully this will, uh, this will ease in the, in the next few weeks, hopefully. Yeah, mate, and then we can finish up the picture of what we took. The picture of what we took, you remember? Yes, I remember. I remember, of course, right. of course. So, let's, let's, um, everything's really going well, so um, I'll keep you informed. Yep. And I'll, and we can finish it off, okay? Absolutely. Nigel, take care of yourself and thank you very much for your time. <laughs> All day long, mate. Top okay. man. Thank you, Nigel Ben. Bye.